Hello, Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Bit by Block, the show where we recreate awesome locations from movies in the hopes of one day doing some awesome machinima with it. I am your host, Jeff Bell, and welcome back to the show. Hope you guys enjoyed, well, I don't know if you even saw all the craziness that went on in that uh, time lapse in the beginning. There was a lot of stuff that was going on. Um, since the last episode, I actually uh, <laughs> I, uh, I took a whole bunch of screenshots from the movie. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't do this in the first place, uh, and to actually get a lot more of the fine details that I knew I was missing uh, for our build in our uh, our little world here. Um, a lot of stuff that went really by went by really quickly in that uh, that time lapse that I'll kind of go over really quickly. First off, have you guys noticed I did put in the street lamps? Um, these were kind of just judged based upon the screenshots themselves that I got from the movie as to where they're at. Uh, this one I know is here roughly because again, this is where the the uh, wire comes down from above on the top of the clock tower down and past this tree, but against this uh, to this uh, light post and then from here over there because that's where my Marty races through with the DeLorean and, uh, yeah, whizzes past right here and then goes back to the future. Um, so I knew where those were at and then I kind of judged based upon the other screenshot that I had on that side where this telephone or this light pole is and then I just kind of duplicated them all the way down. If for some reason these are not accurate, we will move them around later on and uh, we'll get them in the right spot. So uh, besides that, I put in the street corner here. This is where Lou's Diner is going to go, which we're going to work on today. And we are also going to get some of the basic, uh, uh, at least the groundwork or the first first floor or first like block or two up for every single one of these buildings along the side there it sounds like it's a lot more than it actually is but remember each one of these buildings butts up right against each other so we don't have to do the sides we only have to do the fronts so if we can kind of figure out the the general gist of these buildings all along there we should be go good it's going to fill in a lot quicker uh through my other thing i also realized that there was a park bench on the front side of here uh there was a tree located right here i did move this this got moved over because looking at my screenshots when marty comes in in the beginning um he does in fact come around this corner ish here uh again mr sandman's playing all that stuff it is a miller high life i am a dork but I did detect that. I did find that out. Um, so, uh, but he comes around this corner and then he looks up here. He sees the movie theater playing and he turns and he walks backwards across this. So the shot in the movie is actually looking about, it's about, uh, you know, this is a really wide angle, but it's about here. And the one thing I noticed was that the crosswalk is not up here, kind of like they are nowadays. It was further back along the side of the street here. So I shifted this back a little bit to compensate because uh, you can clearly see that there's a distance around the corner from where this crosswalk is. And that's where I also found the, uh, the light pole. Besides that, let's keep moving up here. Again, I put all the light poles in over here. There's a big bush right here in the corner. There's a couple of trees here. Um, the big change, and then I put a couple of trees there. The big change that I did notice while watching the movie was, and I completely missed this on my floor plans, was that actually it's not just the four main pillars. The design of the clock tower has, um, actually kind of has like a, like, a, like a half width pillars right in line behind these, uh, behind it, all going all the way up. Um, on this far back wall. Now I kind of took liberties and I put it one in the corner here just to give it some more depth, mostly because I just didn't think it was going to look good if it was butting up straight against that side. So, um, but what I did is I added those in there so it actually gives a little bit more detail. It's not just the solid brick, uh, facade that we had created originally. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that I point that out that I did that. And I, this is something actually having, um, having looked at the, blueprint or having looked at the screenshots from the movie uh this is not uh in the movie's clock tower these little caps uh they 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 are to a degree it's not what we're building here but uh it, come on get it right but um i'm leaving it because i do i just i like that i think it gives it just a tiny little bit of detail it's going to be just gives it a little more interesting to look at when we're looking at this angle so all right so besides that uh for the most part everything else is kind of uh, is good uh yeah this does still feel really really big and empty uh, i do not have the sign here this is the uh like welcome to hill valley sign or not welcome to hill valley but like the hill valley population blah blah, blah and here's what we're all parts of and all that stuff that a lot of uh, a lot of cities tend to have uh that goes here i have not built that yet um, because I wanted to get building on the buildings and we'll come back to that little detail a little, uh, little later on. So with that, let's start building, uh, Lou's Diner here. Um, 
yeah, let's just start building it. So, okay, so I got a screenshot of this of this up right now. The trick is, is we're not going to be able to find, we're not going to have the exact colors that it is in the movie. Um, what do we have for clay? Oh, you know what? This is, our cyan clay here is going to have to be close enough. Um, and then we also need some glass. And the trick here which we're not going to be able to exactly duplicate is the fact that the door going into Lou's Diner is on a corner. Uh, that's not that's not going to happen. We're not going to be able to get the door actually on the corner itself, but we're going to be able to just kind of fake it a little bit. So, okay, so these are all my pieces. Now, the other thing is, is like I said, it takes this corner very wide like that. It's a, it's a very big, open, wide corner here. So what we're going to do is the way this is designed... We're going to take some liberties here. We're going to go all the way down. There we go. Um, so the corner will go up to, this is a big window. One, two, three. Are you three across? I'm wondering if we shouldn't. Let's shift this down one. There we go. So we'll get that, get that a nice big corner because then that's going to be a door and a door. And then this is actually the other side already. So it's going to be like that. So we do three. Uh, no, you know what? I liked the two better. That was better. So we're going to do that. So we're going to do two there. We're going to do three. Okay, this is a smaller window. So we're going to do this like that. And then we are going to do another big window. Now this is at least that three. So one, two, three. And then what it does is it actually goes up a little bit. kind of form it, it's what it is is it's actually it's a bowed or it's, a, it's got a, like a round corner here which obviously we can't do the round corners in minecraft but we will fake it like that and that kind of gives us our round corner so we do that up we do this up and then we do these up and again now these we're not going to be designing the insides of these or we're not going to be doing oh, well, seriously the rain oh my goodness okay you know do this so often it's just, it should just be like copy and paste at this point so okay um hopefully <laughs> i just realized sorry i just had a message alert that came up my mouse batteries are dying um if those die uh that's why all of a sudden i stopped moving but we'll we'll get that taken care of when the time comes so anyways as i was saying we're not going to do a lot of detail on the insides of these buildings we'll do them later on we're just i'm i'm more worried or more uh, interested in getting the general design of these buildings done uh on the outsides first okay so now <sighs> Here's where we're going to start taking some uh, liberties in the actual movie. This bar going across here it has a little bit of a separation from below here. Um, it's it's set off. There's a there's a it's a little bit wider, but we obviously can't do that. So this is going to be as close as we're going to get. But hmm, I think that might be doable. That might be doable. Let me. Uh, let me take let me take a view of my other screenshot. Oh, right there. So, yep, that is that is right. That is right like that, actually. And I'm wondering if oh no, because I don't want to go all the way up. That window goes up. Yeah, that's gonna be as good as we're gonna do that one little thing. It it normally it actually bows up at an angle or at a nice curve right there, but we're not gonna be able to do the curves, obviously. So that's good enough. Now we are going to come out one more just so I can compensate for those walls. Now these are again, this is the start of uh, where it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna need to care about those uh, going those those corner walls because there is another building right here. And this is the record store that Marty sees the records playing. Um, let me come back. What we're going to do is we're going to finish building the general gist. Actually, you know what? Let's do that right now, too. So let's do... What is that? It's kind of a... Do we have a brown? We have a hardened clay. That's too dark, though. And that's way too dark. And that's orange. So let's just do... Let's just... You know what? Let's do normal clay. I haven't used the normal clay. Okay, so... Um, yep, we're gonna come right out with this, and then there's windows in here, and these windows actually, oh gosh, that's where I hate it. These windows actually butt right up against those and are the same height as the next door. What it, what it looks like they were trying to uh, achieve with this building design was that this is actually, yeah, this is this this whole corner, this record store and mo and. Uh, not Moe's, but this corner diner, uh, Lou's, is all one actual building, and you'll see that in a minute when we build this top floor, um, but with a separate 
little uh, store down here. No, this is actually where in part two, this is the uh, Blast from the Past store. This is where Marty buys the Almanac. Uh, is in this little record store right next to uh, Cafe 80s. Uh, you know, it's one of those nostalgia places that aren't done really well. Um, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I just go to that. Anyway, so we're going to put this here. Mm, yep, we're going to make it a slightly different color just to give it something of an interesting uh, look here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that there. We are going to finish this up the side and then boom there and then we're gonna come out like this because this is uh, back alleyway um, that's about right too that's about where Marty came out this is actually kind of working out the right size so we're gonna go out a little bit like this and then I will uh, see if I can't find some screenshots so let's see what the side of this alleyway looks like at least in uh, 1955 so okay so now we're gonna put the door on let me grab some doors and we'll just do you and what do we have for stairs? What do I got for steps here? We're going to... All right. We're going to use this. Not really happy about that, but we're going to use this just to uh, help. Help kind of... Oops. Nope. Come on. Nope. Come on. Nope. Come on. Nope. Nope. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom. So that's our door. All right. So then that's our... That's our little... That's our little shop there. What we're going to do is we're going to bring all these up one more level like this. Just to make this be an extra thick here. And then the next floor up is our brick building. So, okay, so what we're going to do, let me go back to my other screenshot here. There we go. And then what we got here, let's figure out this corner piece here. Um... So this is going to go like, so that's going to come all the way up like that. That's our corner. Uh, you know, actually, yeah, I'll leave that. That's fine. Um, that's too high already, right? Yep. So we go there and we do this and then we do you and we do you. Okay. So then that's our corner. Hmm. And inside they have... Where is, you know what, we're going to keep using my sandstone. Hooray, look at that, we're going to use the sandstone again, yay. The stuff I didn't want to use in the first place. Nope, not that one. That one looks like crap. <laughs> uh, we're going to use you. We'll use the smooth sandstone. Yeah, it looks a little better. That's not perfect, but whatever. So Okay, so here is, here's, here's our dilemma. These are supposed to be doors. Um, we are going, how are we going to do this? Ugh. I don't like that because this if I put another one here can we still get through there okay so we still can okay so maybe actually maybe we do we just put them on the inside instead to make it look or what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to achieve the look as if the door is open but I don't want it connecting because see here's the problem is it's connecting I, if these if these actually stuck straight out it'd be a different story um and didn't connect to the side of this brick, but it's connecting. So I'm trying to figure out, actually, I feel like it being inside makes slightly more sense, mostly because that's also the direction that Marty pushes the door when he goes into it. So there we go. All right, we'll do that. So we're going to basically pretend, because <laughs> I don't know what Minecraft is, but pretending, um, we're going to pretend that those doors are just simply open and they're open to the inside. There you go. You know what? That's... Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Um, i got to figure out this side here. I know there is a, there's a, there's a window because this is where we can see George leaving from the counter. We can see out this window. So we are going to, you know, the thing is. You know what? I actually think these are all too low. Uh, now that I'm seeing it all together. Oops. This one. Oh, see, that just feels so high, doesn't it? I mean, I guess technically a step up and you'd be at that height. The, um... Because they're about waist height, which would actually be about on this brick. So maybe I... Oops. Maybe we need to... Let me move these all up. See, the question is... Okay, so here, here's the, here's, here's the test. Okay. 
yes, I already see my answer. It's because the thing is, is that from the outside, it might look a slight bit higher, but on the inside, it's actually the, that would be the correct block up because the seats are all going to be this height inside. Yep. All right. So that's what we got to do. We got to move all these up one. That is not high enough. So shift you up to there. Get rid of you. All right. Ugh. Gosh, I don't just. That just doesn't that look just that looks just way too high now on the outside, doesn't it? Okay. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for that. This is. Uh, I want this to look right, and that does not look right. So we're going to go back to the way I originally had it. Because from the outside, which the outside is the important thing, it's not the inside. Um, normally, in this case, you what I just did would have been the correct stance because there is a little bit of a lip. There's about a, there's about a three and a half foot uh, lip uh, down here that would normally come up to about your waist height, which technically on the outside would be about the correct if we put it here actually that's too high uh, but on the inside as you can see the stairs go up because we can't build on this half slab because right now we're building on half slabs um which i don't like that yeah okay no we're just gonna leave it like this because this looks better on the outside we don't want it to be i don't want to sacrifice what it looks like on the outside just because you know just for the sake of it basically so um can we actually do this? Because this is bugging me. I don't like butting two colors like that up against each other uh, with the glass there. All right. So I, I know I realized I just broke that down, but I don't care. So, okay. So there is that side. We are going to... What did I give that? I gave that two. So let's give this two. So it's even like so. And then we are going to just recreate that same look on this side because there are seats that go down this side of it. Again, that's what you see when you walk, or when Marty walks in. Um, just, I feel like that's almost, so actually we're gonna do this. We're gonna just do two windows on that side. So it's a little, cause it's, it, it the building is actually a little more uh, oblong. Uh, it's not square, it's not a square building. It's a rectangular building. Um, at least kind of from most of the photos that you can find of it. So we're just going to do this. It's a, it's a little bit narrower. It's not an even match on the other side, but it's just enough to kind of flesh it out. And again, I'll look at the photos and I'll see if there are uh, three sets of windows here or if it's actually just two. Like it might just be this one and then it ends because the jukebox that Marty sees is back here somewhere. So <clears throat> I apologize, guys. My voice is leaving me. So let's get this going. Um, how much time we got here? Okay, we still got another 20 minutes. All right, let's do let's do this. Um, we are going to do, yeah, we are going to do this going all the way across. So now this goes all the way across, and this will just help break up a little bit of the, uh, the, the pattern here. We don't want this to be going all the way across, so we go like, eh, eh. Nope. Come on. Turn. There you go. Eh, and then eh, and then eh, and then eh, and then eh. There we go. So we're going to go all the way across like that. There we go. And then on top is bricks. And it's actually this bright brick. It's not uh, gonna, It's not the same brick as the clock tower, which is good because that will give a little bit of a difference here. So now this goes just like this all the way across. And then all the way down. There we go. All right, so that's our first layer. And again, like I said, using those staircases kind of just breaks up that uh, that design a little bit there. Just it's it, it's just not color and color, and you know it does push it up a little bit higher. But I'm willing to let that be. All right, so now there is a window. There's a window there, and then we'll give this a two break, and then we're gonna put a window there, and we put a window there. Oops, not there. There, and then a window there, and then a window there, a window there. Perfect. So window, 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 window. Excellent. So basically these are all apartments. Uh, and this is only a one floor building, and those look like those are normal sized windows. So if we were to come in here, and this is just so I can judge how tall to make these windows. Um, you would imagine that this would basically be the stair, or would be the 
wood floor and then so that's your window so actually these windows could probably just be let's see here how high did I do those? those windows over there were what three panes or did I did four panes didn't I uh, no I did three okay so we are gonna do we're gonna do three do two let's see what two looks like two might be too too uh, short two is too short okay so we're going to do three windows. There we go. And then this is the top all the way across. That's kind of what I was just trying to figure out the window thing for, is I wanted to know how tall that is going to be. So then these go up like so. And then we can connect all this up. And then we can put my windows in. And then we'll pull, throw the roof on. So this see, well, loose diner is actually being built a lot faster than I expected it to be built. <laughs> um, okay, now this is another one of those situations where in the actual set, there is a window on the side. Now we can't do the panes of glass real well for this diagonal. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna use the glass blocks. And which one do I got? I got the gray stained. Uh, that's you. So we will use you go all the way up like so. And that'll just, yep, there we go. That'll just be this. Um, and now on this side, I guess we'll just kind of recreate again what we did on that side. Again, we know that's my height. Oops. And we'll go all the way to here like so. All right. So then if we do two. Two. Oh, perfect. Does that work? Oh, look at that. That works. And we have a two on the side there. Excellent. Hey. It's a lot of windows. A lot of windows on the second floor uh, apartment or apartments. I don't know. Maybe this is where Lou lives. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's good. It's fine. It just gives you stuff to look at. So, all right. So here is Lou's diner. These are really drafty apartments. I really need to get the glass in. Not that glass. Here we go. There we go. Uh, um, so, yes. Yeah, so, I am still kind of bouncing back and forth. Uh, obviously, as you uh, probably saw in the uh, in the video there, I am bouncing back and forth between using the Magic Wand tool and not using the Magic Wand tool. And it's kind of just coming down to case scenarios. I tried building uh, initially without it, but I realized I really liked it for the tree building. Um, so, it's going to be a little tough because it's, it makes building these trees a hell of a lot easier if you have the Magic Wand tool. Whereas otherwise it's you can you can do it don't 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 think i don't know that because i used to build that uh, i used to build them all the old-fashioned way but it was just such a pain in the butt to build them the old-fashioned way because you have to basically put down the block of dirt and then you have to put down like a like a yeah you put what is it you have to put like a, a like a thing of tree like a tree stump down put the block of dirt on top of it and then you put like the glass in order to get it to grow it's it's a pain to get like the really big tall ones to get like the normal small tiny ones it's it's a little easier but ugh. I do not want to do that. So, so all right. Um, we are. See now. Okay. Here's where we face a little bit of an issue. The normal uh, building has a green uh, decorative piece on top. We obviously cannot do the decorative piece on top. Um, so we're gonna have to come up with something different, and we might actually just use the dark one. I think I want to try something here. Yes, okay. So just to give this a little bit more detail, I realize this is probably something I should have done about five minutes ago, but just to give it a little more detail, the actual uh, set has a uh, just like a like a bottom a bottom rung there uh, right below the window, but we can't obviously do that. So I'm gonna put those in just to give a little more detail. Uh, I can't do them on there, so the corner window's not gonna get it. It's gonna be just the sides. But again, any little details that we can add into it just to make it, just to break up this solid, you know, solid wall of texture. Uh, the fact that we have to have it here really kind of bugs me. <laughs> um, because there is not, because that's our cyan. I can't use any other color because that's just going to look goofy, um, especially in this texture pack. I can't break up that color like we kind of broke up this one. So, all right. So let us just build. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to build this up one more higher. So I have something to build the uh, lip onto. And the lip's going to actually stick out from this. It's not going to be in line with it. So we are going to get a little bit of a height um, detail or, uh, yeah, something a little bit of a width detail here. So we do this, and then we're just going to do this all the way across 
We'll see how this looks after we get it done. So I'm not sure if anybody who's actually watching this are fans of Back to the Future or just fans of Minecraft or whatever like that, but uh, uh, I am definitely looking forward to the fact that they are releasing, re-releasing the movies in theaters. Uh, I've never seen them in theaters. I've grown up watching them all my life, but I've never actually seen them in theaters, so I'm very excited to actually see them on the screen. And you know, I you know I know I get people who are like, "Well, why are you going to bother watching it on uh, the screen when you just when you already own it and you can watch it at home?" Well, hey, I tell you, it's the it's the whole movie going experience that I enjoy. And uh, any chance I get that I can actually go and see a movie that I love, like I saw Jurassic Park in theaters, and that movie was brilliant. Or I mean, I saw it when it was re-released just a little while ago. Um, or a few years ago, but it's like, I just, that movie was great, and I would always recommend seeing movies like that in theaters when you get a chance, so, okay, sorry, tangent, uh, <laughs> so let us, uh, let's see here, we need to, I want to put a roof on this, so there's our, so there's a little, that's what I was talking about, that's just a little bit of a detail above there, just kind of breaks up that top part, um, let's throw on the roof, and I always just kind of use, like, which I already had that, awesome, um, we are gonna just, yep, yep. I probably could have just used this in the first place. Um, I will fill this one gap in here, and then, oops, and then we are just going to. Uh, I'm actually gonna use the magic wand because it, it, it just, just, it's so much easier. So much easier. Um, yeah. Wand. Nope. That's wombed. Wand, um, hello, oops, <laughs> there we go, okay, so we're just gonna copy you, and we're gonna go all the way down here, nope, oh, that one, and then what is that, about 50, that's about 20, isn't it, nope, I was wrong, I was right the first time, it's 15, oh, it's 14, okay, <laughs> then we're just going to go here and delete it, um, so this just makes it easier, we're just gonna throw the roof on, again, we're not putting much details in here, but, I do at least want to uh, fill in the roof so that way the insides are shadowed. That way we're not looking at a bright, uh, very obviously bright uh, inside with no decoration until we get around to building the decoration on the inside. There we go. And we're just going to fill all this in. Even though it doesn't matter, we won't ever really be up high here, but just in case. It doesn't hurt. There we go. Okay, so now that is the roof on there. What we're going to do is we are just going to fill this back part right here. And then go all the way up here. About what? About there. And then we're just going to replace zero with uh, what is... Uh, what is... My... Let me look here. One second, kiddos. Uh, I'm just trying to check out to see what the um, what the uh, what the ID is for this thing. Hey, hey. And apparently, my internet's not working. <laughs> okay, we are just going to replace this with I don't know. Let's try some five wood. Nope. Okay. We'll just replace it with stone for right now, since apparently my, uh, <laughs> look at that. Fuck IDs. Yep. My, yep. Okay. All right. So we'll just, uh, I'll go with that for now. We are going to copy you down to you. We're just going to stack you over. Too far? Oh, perfect. Excellent. Okay. All right. So now that is that. We are, however, going to at least fill this in. I would love to have uh, gone online to get the idea of this right now. So what we're going to do is uh, let me do a quick uh, time lapse of this. Uh, let me film this because this is going to be boring. And then I'll be right back.
Okay, and we are back. Um, okay, so I might have done a little bit more than I originally expected there. Uh, I wanted to get uh, all the floors in and the ceiling in for the top floor as well as those walls just to keep that divider there. Um, like I said, maybe one day we'll end up doing some other details in here. But and I do, you know, I realize, I realize like uh, the, the the counter for the inside is pretty much right about here, and it goes maybe like this. Um, actually, it's a little too far forward, so we're gonna go here and then corner it there, and that goes all the way there. So like that's the counter, and then we do have. Uh, which we'll just use the quartz seats. We have seats there, which, oh, that's gonna be a problem. Um, it's so wide though. So maybe we just, let's try to actually keep them in line with that section, but that's not gonna happen. So then we're just gonna do that, like so. And then you, and then two, so we'll put you there. You there, and then you in the corner. Excellent. So then those are our seats, and then they have the same thing over here. Actually, that's the, let's see here. There is a counter here. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring that over, and then we're going to go a little bit further in here. Like so. Okay. So that's the counter. There's a lady that stands behind the counter, because, again, that's what you see when George leaves. And then... I'm such a dork for all this crap. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to do that. And then we'll do one there. One there. And then one there. Perfect. Didn't I not just say we were not going to do any of this? And <laughs> here here I am doing it. Uh, whatever. Um, oh, uh, pressure plate. There we go. Let's do... We'll do you. All right. So let's just... So then we're just going to put all these in to represent the tables. Excellent. All right, and this is where the extent of the interior decorating. I'm not the world's greatest when it comes to interior decorating, so I generally try to avoid it. Um, I'm one of those that likes just, I, I will I will build the building and then anybody else can do the interior decorating. That's perfectly okay with me. So, all right, so that's good enough. That's, yeah, that's good for what we need it for for the outside there. And then for this, we will simply... Um, Let's see here. Let's use you. This is going to be... So what I want to do is I'm creating the fake storefront there. And then we are going to use... Yeah, we'll use you. Oops. Nope, nope. Right, I'm going to use you. So this is the fake front window. Um, we will, actually, we're just gonna bring you all the way over. Sorry, guys, I know this is really dark and it's hard to see, and there's anything that, I, oh, it's like a biggest pet peeve of mine when I'm watching any kind of video on YouTube, especially when it's Minecraft building, but when the person goes in the dark, and the person who's playing is like, oh yeah, I can totally see what's going on, and you're watching it going, ah, I see darkness. I see darkness and hatred is all I see. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um... I'm just going to do that really quick. There we go. Uh, there might be a need to put uh, windows in here, but for the most part, all of our sequences that we're going to ever film is all going to be shot in the daytime, so we're not going to have to really worry about it too much. And then we're just going to put this back like that. Excellent. And then... Um, excellent. And then... Oh, come on. Discs? There we go. Yes! So we are going to actually decorate this record store with, no, let's use a, yeah, let's use black. Um, we're actually going to decorate this. No, no, it went away uh, with, with records because that's how cool I am. So there we go. And then one year, one year, let's go red and red. We're gonna go green and green and we're gonna go yellow and yellow, perfect. There we go. So then on the outside, there you go. Right there. I'm actually wondering if we shouldn't block that off. Just, does that look better? Uh, no, you know what? Let's leave that open. I like that open. Okay. 
there okay so that's the extent of the interior decorating i want to do i'm not going to do any more than that so um all right well you know what guys i know i was originally thinking that we might get around to doing these buildings over here at least laying them out but that building took a little bit longer than i expected we're hitting about the time that i wanted to wrap things up we've had a couple awesome time lapses and we've got lou's diner built um which is exciting it's exciting we're getting there uh so we're we're moving right along so now i guess next time sorry i just saw something that i realized i need to put in which is i need to put in this sign does that connect does that just float that just floats dang now it um so we're just going to do this all the way up there we go uh in the in the movie it's there's a there's a sign that says lose on there but that's gonna have to be good enough so or 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 or, or. what am i doing wait wait, wait 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 let's do this nope this no not that okay well let's just there Oh, there's still too much of a gap. Okay, never mind, guys. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to be smart. So, all right. So what we're going to do is, all right, next time then, we are going to move on to this location over here. We are going to start down here with the billboard, and then next is the uh, Hill Valley Bank, and then there's what? There's the travel agency, there's the bridal shop that uh, uh, Marty's mom gets her stuff in, the rain, and then just stuff, 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 and then the movie theater down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out the basic uh, design of those buildings all the way down that row and then the time after that or maybe two times after that we'll come back and we'll do all those and then we'll finish this portion over here uh, there's an alleyway kind of just like a bricked area here and then this is the uh, full service gas station that marty watches them go in so we'll actually get rid of some of this sidewalk because it is all just an open uh, black topped area and then we are almost done with this build uh you know i know it's it seems so far away it seems like i just read off a lot of stuff but uh Trust me, we are, we're actually making very good progress, so, but with that, all right, we're just going to plop ourselves right here, get a nice view of what we've created today, and uh, yeah, with that, I will see you guys next time for more of the Clock Tower build right here on Bit by Block, so, all right, take it easy, guys. Mm -hmm.